Hello, Rider Flex Nation. Steve Urban here with some more great career advice and job interviewing tips for you. Today's topic will be everything you do is tracked and logged. Okay. And I'm not sure everybody knows this, and I want to share this with you to try to help you and protect you, really, kind of a protection. Protect your reputation. All right. Here's the deal. Everything that you send a recruiter, everything you do with a recruiter, with, with probably any recruiting firm, is, is tracked in some sort of what we call an applicant tracking system, okay? Everybody uses different software to track resumes coming in, conversations with applicants and candidates, um, et cetera, et cetera. How many jobs you applied for, what you said during the interview, whether or not you, you showed up for a scheduled interview, everything, all your behaviors are usually tracked in some sort of system. All recruiting firms do this because they, they have to build a profile sheet for you and, and log you know, your activity. And it's the same for a lot of employers, okay? Same thing. They see how many jobs you apply for, how many times you apply, notes you sent into the internal recruiter or HR. It's all logged and tracked somewhere. And I think some candidates forget about this. You know, for, for example, I just want to share with you, we had um, a candidate today. We'll call her Mary. As most of you know that listen to this podcast, I use Johnny and Mary as, as names. These aren't real people. But for this exercise, you know, Mary, she sends a nice email today saying, hey, I applied for XYZ job that you guys have open, would really love to be considered. So what do I do? I take Mary's name, I plug it into our database to pull her up to see if she happens to be in there from a previous job or a previous you know, project. Sure enough, there's Mary's name. Guess what it says? Six months ago, she applied for another job. We actually reached out to her. She scheduled an interview with us, never showed up, never called us. Guess what? We have her tagged as pass forever. Okay. We won't, we won't consider Mary because she jammed us up the first time. And I, you know, I think candidates, sometimes they apply for jobs and they kind of casually set these meetings up with recruiters or employers, and maybe they blow off the meeting or, or maybe they're, maybe they're short in their email exchanges, et cetera. Keep in mind the recruiting teams that you that you apply to, they talk to each other. Okay, they'll say, "Hey, what do you think of Johnny?" or "What do you think of Mary?" Yeah, you you talked to Johnny the other day. How did he treat you, etc. All these notes are compared, and we talk about these things. So I just want to caution you and just remind you, protect you, if you will, from from damaging your credibility or your image from behavior that you, you, you might be, you know, <laughs> from behavior that you might be doing that you don't realize is causing you harm. Okay. So just, just keep that in mind. I just want to caution you. Everything is tracked. Everything's logged. Your conversations, how many times you apply emails that you don't respond to. It's all being logged. My friend, watch yourself, protect yourself. Be careful. Don't, don't, don't get your name jammed up, uh, you know, in a negative light in any way. And there is your Rider Flex tip of the day. As always, folks, you can dial into our corporate office, uh, ask us a question, send us an email, you know, confidentially, and we'll help you where we can. You can visit riderflex.com to check our job board and upload your resume to our database. And you can listen to the Rider Flex podcast just about anywhere, iTunes, Google Play, Anchor FM, SoundCloud. Thanks a lot for listening, folks, and have a great day.